Hi, in this tutorial we are going to be going over positioning in CSS. This is the fourth tutorial of CSS and how it can affect, affect text. For this example we are going to be working in the P3 text paragraph, which is the last paragraph. I'm going to go inside here, I'm going to get rid of these borders. So I'm just going to go scroll up here and everywhere it says border I'm just going to simply delete that. That way you can see that it gets rid of the border. So I double click on P3 text in the CSS styles panel. I'm going to go down here and click on positioning. Inside here we can control uh, specifically the width and the height of our individual paragraph. So we're going to change this to 400 pixels by 200 pixels. Click apply. Say OK. And as you can see it definitely shrunk it a little bit. So I'm going to preview this in the browser. And you can see that it moved it over to be exactly 400 pixels. Let's go back here, go back inside of our uh, positioning. And let's change this to something smaller, something that is almost uh, too small. But that, all that text isn't going to fit in there. So we can see, let's save that and go back to the browser and reload. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. After we do that, we also need to say overflow. It's going to be scroll. There we go. And so let's let's save this, and reload it, and you can see that it's so small that all that text isn't going to fit in there. So we added a scroll property that allows us to scroll up and down, so we can see the rest of that text. Now let's go back here and let's get rid of that scroll property. Let's just say it's visible. And the overflow is exactly what it sounds like. It's the overflow of the text or whatever else is inside there. We also have these absolute, fixed, relative, and static positions. For this tutorial, we're going to use fixed. Say apply. And we're going to say the top is going to be one pixel, which is basically saying it's one pixel from the top. I know this looks looks pretty jumbled here, but what's actually going on is since we changed the positioning to fixed, it is moving it one pixel from the top of the document. Let's go in here and let's go to the second P2 text. So the P2 text class and go to positioning and let's set the visibility to hidden. And what that's going to do is get rid, well not get rid, but hide the second paragraph so we'll be able to see that third paragraph. See? So we can also do this. We can go to the P2 text and go to our positioning and also set it to fixed. And set the left to, let's say, 410 pixels. And what it's going to do, it's going to move it over, starting at the, at the beginning of the document, all the way to the left. It's going to take 410 pixels and move it over. So basically what that did was ga it gave the P2 text paragraph a left padding of 410 pixels. Let's save that and preview in the browser again. Oh, we forgot to change the visibility. Let's go back here to positioning and change the visibility to blank. Apply. Alright. Let's save that and reload it. Now. It's perfect. So in this tutorial, we take a small glimpse at positioning and what can be done in positioning. 
In the next tutorial it will be our last CSS tutorial and we will be talking about a few more things that are interesting with CSS. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.